Good morning, friends of the internet. We are back again in the World of Tanks Garage. Today, we are looking at the Mark I. This is 100 years of service. So this is one of the first tanks that was ever made. Um, so Wargaming said, you know, let's make a little trench warfare style game mode for this. Um, they kind of coupled it along with a, a op that was going on for the Centennial T95, I believe it is. Uh, I'll be showcasing that tank here soon because we went ahead and we did the op. So basically what we had to do was we got a place in the top three damage earners and we get little bonus boxes. Every time we play this match and we place in that top three, then we use those bonus boxes to place in the top three a multiplayer and then we can get extra points from one to 20 points. And that's how we go ahead and we do the ops. So let's go ahead and take a look at what Wargaming did here with this and uh, let's go ahead and find ourselves a match, shall we? All right, guys, so not much of a game plan here. Basically, you know, we're seven tanks on seven tanks, all Mark 1s. We're just going to go out there. You can see the little green arrows on the map. Those are little bonus drops that we can go ahead and pick up for extra uh, fuel because you'll see that we actually have a flamethrower on here. So pretty much our only strategy here is you can see this guy testing his flamethrower out. The only strategy we really have is just to cause as much damage as we can before we die. That's our strategy. We want to place in the top three of this game to be able to get um, A, the boxes, and if we can get a kill and win, we also get a point towards our op. So the thing of it is with this one, there's no real gun depression on this tank, uh, and once you're seen, you're seen. So you gotta be kind of stealthy in the fact of taking shots when you can. Here's one of them bunkers. We knock it over, and we get the extra fuel there. So now we got 15 more fuel, which is perfect in case we get in close quarters combat. But you can see we're detected, but we don't have to really worry about it because there's no artillery. We just got to make sure we keep our distance. I see these guys on the right-hand side are pushing around. This guy here is trying to make a little push. And as you can see, I don't really have shots. I, I have no shots on these guys. It looks like I do, but I don't. So this guy is now getting pushed, so that gives me the opportunity to kind of cheese on him a bit because he's worried and he's getting shot. So I decided to run over here. He's going to be side shots on him, so I'm going to I'm gonna just zip up here and take some quick shots and hopefully get some in before I get dead. So I put a couple into him. One more is my kill shot. There's my kill shot, so all we got to do is win. So now I got side shots on this guy. So I start putting shots in there before I'm seen again. I'm not attracting any attention, which is good. Oh, come on, baby. One more for the kill shot. Oh, I missed it. Try to get that top plate. Oh, I missed it again. He moved. One more. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> come on. So I decided to give up on him because I have shots on this guy. He's not paying attention to me. They're in a battle over there, so they're not paying attention to me. So I'm just going to take these three shots. I'm not taking any damage yet in the game. And this is basically what you have to do is you have to just turn. I already got my one kill. There's two tanks left. You can see it's not a really strategic gameplay. All we need to do is win and I get an extra point towards the op. Plus I get an extra box that I can unlock in multiplayer later that I'm able to get more points towards the Centennial 95. So you can see, I just don't have shots on these guys. And that's the problem with this tank, is it's very difficult to get shots. You basically have to be right on top of them. So here I decide to go for the high ground, see if I can get some height on them maybe. I pivot, hoping this tank's not going to be in my way. Oh, and it just barely is in my way. So I turn, I get one more shot in this guy. Nope. So you can see there's really not much to it. The tank moves around fairly uh, fairly easy. It's not, you know, a really hard tank to maneuver. There's no real strategy. It's just shoot what you can. We did 346 damage. Should put us at the top of the team. We should have got the extra point, but for some reason we didn't. I think I was filming this on a day that the op wasn't playing. So, yeah, we did uh, the most on our team, so we got a box. We got a box. That's all that matters. Now we'll spin that box on the op in multiplayer, place in the top three in a multiplayer match, and then we'll get more points towards our uh, Centennial 95, which I will be showcasing later. Uh, but you can see we did three shots on him, six shots on him, and three shots on him. So 
that's pretty much the game mode. There's really not too too much fun to, or too much to it. It's fun for a moment, but it, it's novelty wears out fairly quick when you have to grind the same map, the same tank, and just do the same thing over and over. So it was good for its purposes of the op, but for long term, I really don't feel that it's going to be uh, a game mode that I'm going to want to play over and over and over again. So uh, with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed the Mark 1. Uh, if you had some time to play with it, it was fun while it lasted. Uh, it's kind of like all the little things Wargaming does. It's kind of fun. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave a like. Uh, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, follow us on Twitter. That way you know when we're posting new YouTube content. And when we're live streaming, you can check us out on Twitch or YouTube Gaming. Come hang out be part of the audience. And if you're new to those channels, smash those follow buttons over there. So until next time, guys, we'll see all your faces on the battlefield. Thanks so much, guys, for checking out my video. If you enjoyed that video, hit that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe for future videos.